Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. The next maintenance release for Android Nougat is just around the corner, and the public beta is now available to eligible devices that have enrolled in the Android beta program. For more info and to sign up, head on over to the post linked in the description below. The Guardian was able to substantially increase user engagement with its mobile app during the recent US election by using new notifications functionality available in Android 7.0 Nougat. The engagement results were impressive, including a 103% increase in daily installs during election week. Check out how they did it on the post. In our continuous quest to discover, nurture growth, and showcase the best games from Indonesia, we are happy to announce the Indonesia Games Contest. Submit your game by March 19th of this year. Details are on the post. We are open sourcing Google Earth Enterprise, the enterprise product that allows developers to build and host their own private maps and 3D globes. Google Earth Enterprise Fusion, Server, and Portable Server source code will be published on GitHub under the Apache 2 license in March. We've recently published new guidelines to help data providers describe their data sets in a structured way, enabling Google and others to link this structured metadata with information describing locations, scientific publications, or even knowledge graph, facilitating data discovery for others. We hope that this metadata will help us improve the discovery and reuse of public data sets on the web for everybody. If you're a data provider, data consumer, or developer, please check out this post. The Firebase Test Lab team is kicking off 2017 with some new features that make it easier for you to customize the testing of your Android apps. Check out their post for details on enhancements that are designed to save you time and money so you can get the most out of Test Lab for your daily testing routine. We recently launched the beta version of Cloud Tools for Eclipse, a plugin that extends Eclipse to Google Cloud Platform. Based on Google Cloud SDK, the initial feature set targets App Engine standard environment, including support for creating applications, running and debugging them inside the IDE with the Eclipse Web Tools platform tooling, and deploying them to production. To get started, check out the post linked in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. For some of our past episodes, click here or here.